Hi everyone, today we are going to learn how to 3D model an iPhone. We are going to first start a sketch on the XY plane. Select rectangle and make it 77.58 millimeters by 160.7 millimeters. We're going to fill at the edges to 12 millimeters. And then extrude our sketch. We're going to extrude it by 7.85 millimeters. Then on the back side, we're going to start another sketch. We're going to do another rectangle and make it 36.73 millimeters by 38.21 millimeters. And then we're going to make it 2.5 millimeters away from the edges. We're then going to fill the corners by 9 millimeters. And then extrude our sketch by 1.17 millimeters. Now on that same face, we are going to make the cameras. First, we're going to draw a center line and make that line for construction. And then draw three 14.3 millimeter circles. We're going to make them concentric to the corners. And then do one more circle. And make this one 27 millimeters away from the edge. And then extrude these circles by 2.5 millimeters. And then on the circles, we're going to create another sketch. We're going to do three circles that are 12.3 millimeters in diameter and make it concentric with all the other circles. We are going to extrude the sketch. We are going to extrude it by 0.5 millimeters. Next, we are going to do the flashlight. So we're going to do a six millimeter circle and make it six millimeters away from the top edge and make it vertically aligned with the right camera. We are only going to extrude this by 0 0.0001 millimeters. Then on the right side of the phone, we are going to do the power button. To do this, we are going to use the center to center slot. We're going to have a radius of one millimeters. in the length of 14 millimeters. We're going to make it vertically center with the right side of the phone. And make it 55.5 millimeters away from the top edge. We are going to extrude the sketch by 0.4 millimeters. On the other side, we are going to do the volume buttons and the ringer. We are going to have a circle that is 8 millimeters in length and make it 1 millimeter in radius. 
and then we're going to duplicate it. These are going to be the volume buttons. And make it vertically aligned. Then we're going to make that top volume button 44.58 millimeters away from the top edge. And then make the bottom volume button 58.78 millimeters away from the top edge. We are going to extrude the volume buttons by 0.4 millimeters and then make the ringer. So on the same edge or same face, we are going to create another slot. The slot is going to be 3.5 millimeters in length and have a radius of one millimeters. We're gonna make it vertically center and make it a distance of 28 millimeters from the top edge. Instead, we are gonna extrude into the phone by 0.4 millimeters. And then on the interior face, we're gonna start another sketch. Again, we're going to make another slot. We're going to make it collinear to the left edge. And then we're going to make the two points coincident. So the top point and then the top edge of the slot. And then do the same thing for the bottom edge. And then we are going to give the slot a width of 1.4 millimeters. We are going to extrude it by 0.8 millimeters. Now on the bottom face, we're going to do the volume in the charger port. Or sorry, the speaker in the charger port. So we're going to give the speakers a diameter of 1.4 millimeters. Dimension them away from the edge by 4.8 millimeters and make it horizontally center. We're going to project the geometry of the bottom edge and use the rectangular pattern to make four more speaker holes. We're going to separate them by 2.5 millimeters. Sorry, four millimeters. Then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. 1.4 millimeter diameter circle, horizontally center. And make it 4.8 millimeters away from the edge. And use the rectangular pattern. This time we're gonna do six speaker holes. At a distance of 2.5 millimeters. We're going to extrude into the phone all the speaker ports that we created. We're going to extrude in by one millimeter. And now on the same face, we're going to do the charger port. Again, we are going to use the slot and make it six millimeters in length 
and one millimeter in radius. We're gonna make it vertically and horizontally center. And then these circles are gonna be for the screws. They're gonna be one millimeter in diameter and horizontally center and six millimeters away from the slot. We are gonna extrude in for the charger port by five millimeters. We're gonna turn on the visibility of the sketch and extrude in for the screws. We are gonna extrude in by 0.1 millimeters. And then we're gonna turn off the visibility of the sketch. Now we're gonna start a 2D sketch on the front face. We're going to project the geometry of the outer edges. We're going to use the offset tool to offset the edge by one millimeter. And then finish sketch. And we are going to extrude the space in by 0 0.0001 millimeters. And then on that same face, we're going to use the slot tool. To make the black slot mic as seen on the iPhone. We're going to give it a radius of 3.5 millimeters and a length of 15 millimeters and make it vertically center. We're going to make it 1.3 millimeters away from the top edge. We are going to extrude it by 0 0.0001 millimeters again. And then we are going to apply a chamfer of 0.2 millimeters to the outer edge on both sides of the phone. Then we are going to apply a fillet of 0.3 millimeters to the charger port and the cameras. So down by the charger port. And then the two outer edges where the cameras are located. And then the outer edge of all the cameras. We're going to select the appearance to be stainless steel, I'm sorry, steel polished. And then for the cameras, we're going to select them, cameras and the mic, we're going to select them to be black. So we're going to change the default color to black and apply that to the cameras and the mic. That's the mic, and then do it for the cameras. And then the flashlight, we're gonna set it to be white. Then on the back base, we're gonna import an image of the Apple logo. We're going to constrain it to be vertically oriented. 
and then set it to be vertically center and horizontally center. We're going to scale it down to be 22 millimeters by 22 millimeters. We are going to use the decal tool, select the image and the face, and place it on the face. And then on the front face, we are going to import an image of a background. Make it vertically oriented and then align it to make it vertically center. And coincident to the top edge. And then we're going to make it coincident to the left edge on the left side. Finish sketch and do the decal process again. And there we have it. That's how you 3D model an iPhone. Thank you for watching.